whole garden. <laughs> Saturday, the day that vlogging forgot. <laughs> I've been tidying up in here. Doesn't look like I've been tidying up. Everywhere's still a massive clutter bucket, but it's a load better than it was. And I now have organised piles. I also have this horrid form I have to fill out for Bill. 44 pages. Ugh. And it asks about how his disability affects him. There's always quite a lot of stupid questions in these things. And there's always, always quite a lot of questions that are extremely important. But you think to yourself, where do I begin? And some of it's going to be quite funny. Some of the things I'll have to try and describe. Especially with the way he eats a roast potato. <laughs> he doesn't have the fine motor skills. What is it that you want, Margot? Margot's having a little shout. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to go outside? She wants to go outside. Oh, careful, bunny. Oh, you're pulling off. I love this cardigan, but the dogs are going to ruin it. Oh, Margot's yanking my trouser leg. So I've just popped on. I am, um, I'm absolutely like completely flabbergasted. Kate's handbags have sold, which is incredible. It's amazing, amazing news. I am so glad that they've sold and raised that money for the Pilgrims Hospice. But even better than that, I know the person who's bought them. It's one of you guys. I was hoping that would happen. But even better than that, it's somebody that I am undoubtedly going to see these handbags again. And it's not another goodbye. Just so happy. I'm just so happy. Great. What are these dogs doing out here? What you doing? Bunny's looking for a rat. She's behind you. <laughs> oh, that's mean of me, isn't it, Margot? You're not a rat. What are you patrolling for? I planted a jasmine years ago, just there, to grow up and over and it's just not doing very well. I need to think of something else to plant there. Could you hear me just rubbing my face then? I think it was, I was rubbing my nose and it was lifting my lip off my teeth and making a slapping noise. Oh, stop. Oh, spooky. Spooky. Wilf's got a friend over. I've just spent the afternoon down in parked up in the car we went to the little corner shop and i gave the boys th a three pound budget each to get some snacks for midnight feast that they're going to have at about half past seven and um then they had an about an hour and a half just hurtling around the park and the skate park and i i was just parked up and i had my knitting with me and I've obviously messed up the provisional crochet cast on for my striped sweater because I can't unravel it easily. It's taken me forever. So I'm doing that now. And then we've got a Chinese ordered. And oh, it's dark in here. I still need to give you a tour of this gorgeous room, my winter room. Um, got a Chinese ordered. Oh, it's mosquito. Oh, God, go away. <laughs> Sorry, mate, but ugh, I can't have you around here. We've got Chinese ordered and uh, Wilf's friend's going to stay the night, but his mum's said that he's, he's a little bit anxious. So I have a feeling I might be doing a um, little run down the hill in my pyjamas at about 11 o'clock to take him back home. 
but at least he'll have had sort of, you know, the, the fun of having the sleepover and then I can always get him again early in the morning so he can come back and it'll be like he was here all night. So the boys are happy, Bill's happy, um, Ted's happy, he's been in the digger most of the day, so he's living in the, living in the dream. Toby's happy because he's in the hot tub, <laughs> having been throwing turf around with a spade all day. I'm happy because I got my knitting. Look, I'm so slow. I'm not even sure I'm doing it correctly, but I don't think I've got it twisted. And even if I have got it twisted, it's only by one stitch. And I actually think that it won't show, so I'm not too worried. Keep looking at myself. Oh, I'm so chuffed about those handbags. So, so chuffed. I must text James. Right, I'm off. <laughs>